Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna look at replacing brake pads on pretty much any truck out there. Um, they're very, very simple. Um, the only real hard bit about it is taking the wheel off, which, you know, if you've got one of these, it's actually quite fun. So yeah, let's take a look and we'll go through it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna look at brakes on pretty much any HDV out there. Um, the truck we're gonna look at today is a DAF CF model, um, but these calipers are the same on front and rear, on the CF, the XF, um, pretty much all the medium to large size DAFs. Um, I know Mercedes run the same calipers, Volvo run a very similar caliper. Um, I'll explain the differences as we go through, but uh, yeah, it's very, very simple and it's it's one of the easiest brakes to do. So let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is jack and support the vehicle. After this, we're gonna remove the wheels to get to the brakes. And then if the axle is a handbrake axle, we have to release the park brake. So what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna take a look at the pads and Basically, what you want to aim is to change them before they get lower than the clips on top, which obviously these pads are way past that point, but uh, they're not down to the metal, so they're okay for now, but uh, we're going to get them changed. So what we're going to do is locate the adjuster, which is on the back of the caliper underneath the chamber. Now, it could be either side, front or rear, so you need to locate that and remove the boot. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a 10 mil ratchet spanner, preferably a flexi head, and we're going to put it onto the aluminium adjusting nut and we're going to wind it off. Now that adjusting nut, if you take a look at it by here, um, it should be in the caliper. If it's missing, usually one comes with your pads, but we're going to use the one that was already on there. Um, if your caliper is in any way seized or um, basically unserviceable, um, what will happen is if it's tight, it will snap this tool and that's a sign that your caliper is seized. You can work them free, but if they're at a point where that tool is breaking rather than undoing, winding the caliper off, then that's telling you that you have a problem with your caliper and obviously your self-adjust adjust function isn't going to work properly. So what we're going to do is thing. So that's why I'm back now. Uh, what we're going to do is take a pair of pliers and we're going to remove the clip in the end of the pin. It's just like a little R, a little, um, R clip kind of thing and uh, give it a wiggle and pull him out. And then once we get him out, we're going to take the washer from behind him off. We're then going to take the pliers and grab the pin itself from the top. And I push down on the plate to take the weight off the pin and obviously wiggle the pin free. If the pin is a bit tight, you can just get a hammer and a punch and tap him out. But in this case, dead easy. So, so by ear, I'm just checking the sliders to make sure they're all nice and free. Obviously, you can see that's nice and loose. Um, if your calipers are sliders are seized, um, you can remove remove them and clean them up on a wire wheel or something and put them back in with some nice grease. So that's all we do there. Right, as you can see now, the pad, the new pads are a little bit tight in the carrier. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to clean up the carrier before I put the pads in. Now, usually you just put them in and give them a wiggle and they should just drop in. As you can see, I've had to push these in and even, even once they're in, they're a bit tight to get back out. So take some emery tape and just clean up the mating surface where the pad sits, um, all four corners. So... You want to get it nice and clean. If there's any rusty lips or anything, just get it off. Just rub it back to a nice flat surface and then your pads should sit in there quite nice. So I'm just going to rub that back now. So like I said, once that's nice and rubbed back, the pad should just drop in, just give it a wiggle. It's not, uh, you don't want it too loose, but obviously you want it to drop in under its own steam. If you do have to give it a little push, it doesn't hurt, but as long as it's nice and cleaned up and you've got any dirt out of there, that's all good. So 
So we're going to apply the, the, the strap and obviously apply the pin and then apply a new washer and a new R-clip. And there we go. That's our pads in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our adjuster and we're basically going to wind it clockwise now to wind the brakes up. I forgot to mention earlier it's anti-clockwise to wind the brakes off, but clockwise to wind up. So we're going to wind it until the hubs, the, the brake pads start to pinch the disc. As you can see now, I can't turn. I can turn it a little bit. So just give it a firm push. You don't want to break the tool, but just give it a firm push so it stops the hub. And then once you've done that, then wind him off one click. See how it feels. As you can see here, one click, it still felt a little bit on the tight side. So I've gone a second click back. So, and then once we've done that, put the tool back in the hole. The tool should always, the little aluminium tool should always stay in the adjustment hole. And then put the new boot, which comes in with the pads. And that's it. The only extra thing I'm going to do here, which I don't usually do, but the dealers believe the dealers like to do it, and also a lot of other mechanics, is apply a bit of sealant to the clip on the end of the pin. Now, I'm guessing it's to stop it jumping off under its own steam, but in my opinion, that clip is more than secure. And there we have it. Um, that's our pads replaced. Um, obviously, you can see our pin and our clip. It's very, very simple. It's one of the easiest pads to do. It's easier than a car or van or anything else. Um, so, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, any questions or anything you'd like me to do in a future video, please comment. Um, I, I would like any feedback. I would love to hear from you guys. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video. If you look for, if you want to see any, if you want to stay in touch for future videos, please subscribe and uh, I look forward to doing more videos in the future. Have a good day.